crazy but it's all good i'm taking it down tonight so much new growth y'all i'm going through the process of um going all natural pray for me i used to have this like insecurity with being natural and i used to be like man i don't think i'm gonna be all that pretty when i'm natural god had helped me understand my true beauty um that starts from within and then shows externally god convicted me one day y'all literally spending time with him and i was in my most intimate time which for me is doing my bubble baths he basically let me know like ashley why don't you like the way i created you and it really hit home for me if you're saying you don't like the way i created you you're saying that i didn't basically do a good job in how i perfectly created you because there is nothing that i did not create that wasn't perfect god speaks to me so much when there is just me and that's all you see is just me if you get what i'm saying the girls that get it they'll get it if you don't have any like you know little nits and tricks that y'all can help your girl out with when it comes to like um natural hair styles and stuff like that let me know right now i'm definitely still just going to be doing the braids until i get my hair to a desired length that i like because braids just work for me i'm going to be doing them myself um from here on out it's like not even up for debate because it just costs too much as transparent as I can with the fast because I am tired. You can probably see it on my face because I'm sleepy a little bit because I haven't ate nothing. One of the things I've been keeping my focus on is my spirit being in prayer with God. So even if I'm in the bed, I was in prayer with God through my spirit, from my heart, praying, just interceding about certain things. And um, yeah, so I'll just keep y'all posted. This is day one of the water fast. So y'all, I'm working, right? And I'm kind of the person, like when I work, I like to multitask when I work. I like to watch shows and stuff like that. Some shows are not conducive. Let's just keep it a stack. Some shows are not conducive. What do you mean by not conducive? They're not conducive to my spiritual growth, right? And as I'm working, I heard the spirit of God, like I was about to watch. I saw that they had on Hulu. And this is why I think God made it very clear to me that you need to delete these apps because, and I ain't gonna hold you, the struggle is real because I'm used to just being able to watch these while working, you know? Yeah, I saw on Hulu, they have a new season of um, what is it, Love Island? And I ain't gonna hold you, God convicted me a while back, like, girl, you need to stop watching it. And so it's been a minute since I have watched it, but we all know the spirit is willing to flesh can be weak at times. So I did have to give myself some grace in the moments that I did in the past, ask God for forgiveness for those moments where I did not adhere to his voice, right? But in this particular moment, I'm at the desk, y'all, and I'm literally like, I'm going on break, but before I went on break, I was like, man, I just want, I just need something to watch, God, something to keep my focus. Because right now, my mind is honestly thinking about eating, but I'm working right now. So I'm like, I need something to watch. I need something to keep my focus. And I, truth be told, my flesh doesn't really want to hear gospel music right now. So um, even though I know that that would be good for my spirit, I'm just being real transparent with y'all with how this fast is going, okay? 
I was just like, man, I'm just gonna watch this just so that way I can like hurry up and boom, 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 get through work. And girl, I'm literally like, man, I'm just ready for day five so I can be done. Cause <laughs> I haven't ate all day. It's currently 6.35 now. And my last time I ate was yesterday, late at night. In that moment, I literally pressed the first episode and I heard the conviction of the Holy Spirit upon me. Literally like, why? why? You know, so. I decided not to do that and I just decided to watch. I'm gonna watch a sermon instead, but I wanted to kind of show y'all just like what I'm gonna watch a little bit. I am watching one of the sermons by my spiritual father. His name is um, Emmanuel TV Joshua and his um, application is Emmanuel TV. So you can download it on Apple, you can download it, I think on just about any kind of application store, right? And I'm just literally asking the spirit of God to lead me as I choose and I select which ones that I'm going to watch while I work through my shifts because I need something that's going to also edify my relationship with Christ doing this fast or else it's, it's no point because literally y'all the moment I clicked on that video the moment I kid you not y'all the moment I clicked on the video to press and I heard the little love on the intro immediately I was like what does it even matter we should just like forget it and just go eat because I'm hungry immediately so I'm just giving y'all like tips to know when you're doing this fast these are moments where if the flesh is too weak you have to depend on the spirit of god to get you through the fast and this is only day one i'm just praying that god would just give me strength i can do all things through christ who strengthens me greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world this fast is going to be beneficial this fast is going to give you direction for the upcoming year this fast is going to give you divine 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 wisdom from the spirit of god you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think not in your strength but by the strength of jesus christ and that's just that on that stay focused don't lose sight stay focused peter had to stay focused in order not to get drowned in the waves of life peter had to stay focused job had to stay focused even when satan tried to come in job had to stay focused so even if your flesh does not want to worship ash you have to strip the flesh of what it wants and make it do what the spirit knows it needs amen Woo, that's a good word god oh my spirit felt that thing mm. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these applications. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm about to get back to work. If you are not led by the Holy Spirit, Jesus was led to do so. But today, we can just choose to fast. Fasting is not something you decide you want. I want to fast. I want to pray. No. Prayer too is not something I want to pray. Everything that has to do with Jesus will be led faith in God, faith of God, faith from God. Remember, God is spirit. Anything of God is things of the spirit. Anything of God, of God, of God is spiritual issue. So yeah, I just finished out through praying. Um Give me one second, I got a huge update for y'all. Huge update. So, transparency moment, real transparency moment. Um, so I'm watching my spiritual father. I'm watching my spiritual father, y'all, and as I'm watching my spiritual father, I was watching a sermon regarding to fasting, and I'm a true believer that nothing happens by coincidence for believers. Everything happens by God's ordained, you know, and so I'm watching it and as I'm watching it it was about fasting specifically and when I'm watching a video he really started dropping some jewels and I'll leave the link in the description box below just so that way y'all can have that if you desire to know what was being spoken about but he really started dropping some jewels that I didn't even know to know when it comes to fasting and as believers y'all please know please know we should always be available to learn that's what wisdom is is an open vessel that's available to learn 
And if you're not teachable, then how can you actually learn? The Bible even tells us, like, my people perish because of lack of knowledge, right? And so in this moment, I'm gaining knowledge on um, the bigger picture with fasting, right? Because we live in a world now where fasting is just like, you just choose to do it if you want to do it. And me personally, I've always done fasting um, sometimes I've done it just to fast, and then sometimes I've done it, and I was like, okay, God, I'm already here now, so I might as well glorify you with it, right? Um, not thinking, because my spiritual growth in Christ was not as mature as it is now, not thinking about the spiritual side of things, right? And so, um, as I'm listening to him, he said that fasting is not something that you decide, it's something that you're led, and he brought it back to when Jesus was led by the Spirit of God. And I know that this is something for some people who are probably be like, duh, girl, you should have known that. Baby girl, I'm never going to say I've arrived. And I'm never going to say that because I'm always willing to learn from my father. Point blank, period. He specifically spoke about how fasting is going to be something where you're led by the Spirit of God. Like, even Jesus himself didn't just decide to fast he was led by the holy ghost to do a 40-day fast right and so it got me thinking in that moment and i was thinking about where this idea of a five-day water fast originally came from and it originally came from i was inspired by my brother doing the five-day water fast and so i was like oh god that'd be perfect for me too because i will be able to deepen my relationship with you um i've been praying because i want to have encounters with you more and i just really want to like experience your glory and all that you call me to do you know so many different things i want divine wisdom all the things i've already spoken to y'all about prior to getting to this point right it's currently 906 and i've been fasting pretty much all day just on water and i'm listening to the man of god and he specifically said that you know you also leave yourself active to the spiritual warfare as well because if you was not led by the spirit of god then you give access to things in that nature because it's spiritual and i'm strictly growing in my spirituality with christ so these are things that i'm learning along the way it had me really thinking y'all and i was pondering and i was like god i think this was something that i decided to do now mind you during the fast because just a couple months ago i told y'all what the spirit of god had told me right about you know, actually delete all of these apps, delete these apps, delete these apps, because it's distraction, right? I heard the Spirit of God tell me to do that, right? It's something that you feel like completes your day, and if you don't have that app, or if you're not using this, or not doing that in the third, then it just seems a, li a little off. Same thing applies with food, you know, same thing applies with water. Some people fast without water. Um, I just found out my spiritual father used to do that, a dry fast, which is like, whoa this is the first time for me that i've ever paid attention to fasting in this manner i've never really like had an urgency to be like oh were you late none of my actual pastors that are in my area actually like gave us the fundamentals on like on like fasting in in in, in depth at least to the way where or at least I wasn't there when they talked about it, right? So this was something that I did not really get um, the full context on. Even in the Word of God, like, I never even looked at it that way um, from the fact that he was led by the Spirit, you know, into the wilderness. But I did not hear you to tell me to go on a water fast for five days. That was something that I decided to do. And do I think God's grace is sufficient to honor you and and, 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 and I mean, to, to give you grace, yes. But I also just literally, y'all, repented for taking it upon myself, not knowing that that was something that we are not actually supposed to do. And so I was like, wow, God. I said, I'm so sorry. I said, but I also was so grateful that God even allowed me to come across this, this video by my spiritual father, who I watch now. Um, or else I would have been consistently doing a fast that was not led by the spirit I just wanted to like really let y'all know like the update on the fast because God just helped me out big time I did not know So if you are deciding to do a fast and you are the one deciding to do it Take a step back and ask the spirit of God pray about it Even if that's something that you desire to do pray about it and ask the spirit of God to lead you Meaning he's going to confirm, the Spirit of God will confirm the, 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 the actual fast that you should do. Amen.
So my, I was watching my, uh, my spiritual father, one of my spiritual fathers. I would always just do what the church did, you know, just kind of with, with what the church was doing. So if they was led by, if the pastor was led to do a fast for the whole congregation, then you know, we obviously was all doing a fast, right? I'm watching my spiritual father talk about this fast. Call it a night. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow.